15th topic is get down and get small the fewer goals you set each day the more you feel pushed around by people and events that are beyond your control to suffer from the sense of powerlessness rather than creating the reality you want you are only create reacting to the world around you rather than creating a reality you want you are only reacting to the world around you you have much more control over the activities of your day than you realize by increasing your conscious use of small objectives you will see the larger objectives coming into reality most people participating in the free enterprise system have become a thoroughly convinced of the power of setting large and specific long range goals for themselves career career goals yearly goals and monthly performance goals are always on the mind of person with ambition but often those people overlook altogether the power of small goals goals set during the day that give energy to the day and sense of achieving a lot of small wins along the day in his psychological masterpiece flow the psychology of optimal experience mihali refers to the large goal is a outcome goal and small goals is a process goal large goals is a outcome goal and small goals is a process goal the beauty of process goal is that they are always within your immediate power to achieve for example you might set a process goal of making four important telephone calls before lunch on a sheet of paper you make four boxes and as you make each call you fill in the box and when the four are made you file the paper in the goal folder and go enjoy the lunch because you have earned it you can set process goals for example before conversation with a person i want to find these three things out i want uh, to ask these four questions or i want to make this two request or i want to pay my client one compliment before i leave process goals give you a total focus when you are constantly setting process goals you are in more control of your day and you feel a sense of skillful self motivations at the end of the day or the beginning of the next day you can check your process goal towards the outcome goals you can adjust your process goal to take you closer to the outcomes you want to take you closer to the outcomes you want and always keep the two in harmony let's say it's now the end of the long hard day you have an half an hour before you have to go home if you have if you are not in the habit of the setting process goals you might say i guess i ought to do some paperwork or i make a call or to before i go to home you took a pile of paper on your desk you look at you look at the pile of paper on your desk or you mindlessly thumb through phone numbers and all of sudden someone come by your desk to chat because you have nothing specific to do you engaged in the conversation and before you know it the half an hour is gone and you have to go home even though you didn't leave anything specific unfinished you still have a that vague feeling of having wasted time you still have a that vague feeling of wa- having wasted time now what happens if you use that half an hour to set and achieve the process goal before i go home tonight i am going to send out two good good letters of introduction with my all marketing material included this is the process goal now you have to you have a process goal and only half an hour in which to do it now only half an hour in which to do it when the person comes by your desk to chat to tell him you will have to talk with him later because you have got some things that you have to get out by 5 people who get into the swings of setting small goals all day long 
report a much higher level of consciousness and energy. It's as if they are athletes constantly coaching themselves through an ongoing games. They are happier people because they day because their day is being created by the power of inside their own minds and not by the power of world around them. Thank you.